There have been some new updates in the YNW Melly case, which has things looking worse than ever for him. This new information that's recently been revealed will almost guarantee Melly being found guilty and locked up for the rest of his life, if not worse. You won't want to miss what we have to show you in today's video, so stay tuned. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video if you are a fan of YNW Melly, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, YNW Melly has been sitting in prison for almost two years now awaiting his trial, which overall has been very dragged out, and honestly, there has been very little information given to us on whether he actually stood a chance or what his overall chances of being set free were, but now that has changed after a recent update was revealed, which pretty much guarantees his outcome, and sadly for his fans, it is not a good one. There is a very good chance that YNW Melly will be serving life in prison, if not worse, like I said. This is because some new evidence that was apparently found on YNW Melly's phone. According to sources, during a hearing that took place in August 2019, the state attorney played a recording that she claimed to have found on Melly's phone where he confessed to killing his friends YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. They said that it was recorded exactly one month to the day after the incident. If this recording is legit and in the hands of the prosecutors, which it seems to be, then YNW Melly's chances of being set free are honestly zero to none. This is extremely bad news for Melly and his fans, but sadly, things do get worse for him after the alleged victim's families are also now suing him. It's not clear if they made this decision to sue him after they learned about the recording or not, but either way, they are claiming that he murdered his two friends over money from their music that he was supposed to split amongst all of them, saying that it was greed that led him to commit the murders, which would also make it premeditated. There were also claims that this was gang-related after he put up the blood gang sign during the recording after he allegedly confessed. There still seems to be no solid evidence for motive. All we can really do is speculate and have our own opinions, but if the recording is legit, then it looks like YNW Melly was really guilty this whole time, which honestly is pretty disappointing because most of his fans and family, they felt bad for him through this whole process. They've supported him considering what he's been dealing with behind bars, like getting COVID and denied medical attention, etc. But now it's hard to feel that bad if he is truly guilty. We can't see the recording because it was apparently restricted from public access by Melly's lawyer because he filed a motion to block it saying the publicity from it could deny his client a fair trial. That statement alone pretty much confirms that the recording is very strong evidence against him, but still, they seem to be very optimistic about their chances, at least that's what they're portraying to the public, but what confuses me about all of this is the fact that they claim to have had this recording since August of 2019, but we are now just hearing about it. Also, if they did have the recording this whole time, you might assume that YNW Melly would have been informed about it at the hearing, but over the past year, he has posted multiple Instagram pictures telling his fans that he will be released and home soon. And if the recording is real and legit, like I said, he would pretty much have zero chance of being found innocent, and he has to know that, so it is confusing on why he would continue to claim that he will be home soon. Maybe there's just, there's just a lot we don't know, but it is pretty strange in my opinion. This whole situation has just been very controversial, but when you take a look at everything, I have to keep it real, there seems to be a lot of clear evidence pointing to Melly being guilty. Many others might have different opinions, that's just where I stand, but who really knows what will happen. Like I said, we will have to wait and see how things unfold, but there is no denying that the announcement of this new evidence is very crucial and very critical to his outcome, and I personally think things are looking very rough for YNW Melly. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know what you think about this whole situation and what you think the outcome will be because this has just been so up and down and there's so much different information. It's I think it's all just basically opinion right now. So do let me know where you stand on all of this. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of YNW Melly. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.